Hi, can you see me? Can you? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, hello everybody. How are you? How are you doing? Can everybody hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carla. Oh, wow, today Hello. girls. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Wow, okay, so right now I only have girls in my class. So only the girls are being responsible right now. <laughs> it's okay, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking around. Now I'm sure the guys will, will be connecting soon as well. Okay, so girls, welcome. Um, how was your weekend? Bye guys. Everybody had a good weekend? Okay. Oh, I see my the first guy that is connecting. Mauricio is our first guy to connect. <laughs> the first responsible guy. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So how was your weekend? Tell me, what did you girls do? Um, teacher, I go to the church and I clean in my house and I ship, ship her with my family. And, and what did you do with your family, Alma? No. Um, compartí. Compart share. Share, share. Oh, okay. You, you okay. You, what you're trying to say is, um, Como pasó tiempo con la familia? Okay, I understand. In English, we say I spent time. Spend time. So in the, in the past, I spent time with my family. Very okay, Thank good. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. All right. Um... So, okay, so now we have two boys in the class. I'm happy. Welcome, Mauricio and Isael. I, I, was, I was just mentioning that at the beginning of the class, we only had girls in the class. So I said, wow, all the boys are not here. Um, but I can see that we have also very responsible boys too. So that's wonderful. Okay. Um, so what else to tell me? What else did you do this weekend? Anybody did something interesting? I went to game. So what 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 happened, Lorena? I went to dance to Pueblo Viejo restaurant. Sorry, I can't hear you. You went where? I went to dance to Pueblo Viejo restaurant. To dance. Like it. Um, you can go wow. a DJ with very good music and I been for like two hours. And what kind of music did you I dance like to? Cumbia, I like cumbia, but the DJ put everything. Then I when I I don't like someone, I go to sit down, then I come back. They were in, in the pizza, there were too many pe few people. Then you can Move a look. Um, okay, that so you like you like the space to be able to move. Yeah, to do anything. <laughs> wow, I can I can only imagine Lorena. She's like the the queen of the of the dance floor, <laughs> like like Ava, right? Dancing queen. <laughs> That's I was, good. I was on the, on the platform too. 
I do the button. Sorry? And I and I work in the platform too. Oh, okay, okay. So you 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 um you played but you also worked. That's great. Okay, good. Hey, excellent. You, uh, Lorena is setting a good example for everybody. So you have to do a little bit of both things, right? You got to play, have fun, but work, right? And and be very dedicated to your studies. Good. Excellent, Lorena. Good for you. Okay, I like that. Okay, excellent. What about the rest of you? Anybody did anything else um, that was very exciting? Teacher. Yes, Carla. I, I, I was preparing for the start of my son class. Oh, okay. Did he begin today? Yes, today, the first class. Ah, I see. Okay, oh, wow. And what, what grade is your son in? Uh, seventh, seven, seven. Yeah, seventh grade. Yes, is is he's teenager. Wow. He has wow. twelve, goodness, twelve yeah, years you, old. You have a teenage son. Wow, I would never have <laughs> guessed that. You look, you. you <laughs> You look like you, you are like a, a teenager yourself. You're, you look very <laughs> young. No, I know, I, I don't, I don't know teenager right now. <laughs> no, but I'm sure you look, I, I'm sure you look like her, his older sister, right? Do people confuse you and think that you are the older sister? No. Uh, I have two brothers only. No, but I mean like with your son, do people confuse you and think that he is your brother? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Desde que era chic bebé. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because you look very young. Yes, uh, that's, that's, that's a gift, right? It's it's nice. no 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 but but no I I thirty four years old. No, but you don't look it. You you look very young. Yeah yeah, good for thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. You too. You too, teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, class. Um. Well, we're gonna what we're gonna do right now. Um. By the way, welcome to everybody. I have most of my students now um, in class. And what we're gonna do right now at this moment, I sent you um, today a list of the irregular verbs. I don't know if you have the opportunity of looking at it. I asked everybody to um, to, to open the file and, and, and um, study. Did everybody have that opportunity? I don't. Just of opening it, opening it and looking at it, you know. Did you have, did you, did you do that? Yes. Could, could you open it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to actually get you to work in groups. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, no. We're going to work in pairs some some groups may be like up to three people maybe um, but I'm going to try to just get you guys to work in in pairs and what I'm gonna ask you to do we're gonna be playing ping pong but not physical ping pong because obviously it's impossible right okay what we're gonna do we're gonna be playing ping pong with verbs how does this work so I want you to everybody to take out the, um, the the list that I sent you in the WhatsApp group, and what you're going to do is you're going to be saying one 
one of the verbs in the infinitive form, in the base form. To give an example, was. I'm oh, sorry, no, 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 sorry, my mistake. Be, because be is the infinitive form, right? The base form, okay? So you're going to say to your partner, be, and your partner has to quickly find the word and tell you the, the past of it, okay? So your partner's gonna say, ah, was That's or what? were, okay? But the idea is to do this quickly, quickly, okay? Try to find it quickly. Now, in the list, the list goes by alphabetical order. So it shouldn't be too, too difficult, okay? So if, if you say, if the, your partner says, speak, well, you just go to, to, the, um, uh, to the letter S and find the word speak. So that shouldn't take you very long. So you're going to have a maximum, a maximum of five seconds to find the word and say to your partner, what is the, sim the simple past? Now, if you do not tell your partner in five seconds, you have a penalty. And your partner can ask you any question that, that, that your partner wants to ask. Okay, so that's gonna be your penalty. You're gonna have to answer a question that your partner wants you to answer. Is that clear for everybody? How we're gonna work with this? Can you give the exam? exam? Example. The, the, quest, the question. Example of questions, it could be any questions you want. For example, you can ask about, um, if you are wondering if the questions have to be in the past, no, the questions do not have to be in the past. Um, if you want to make in the past, go ahead, that's fine. But they don't have to be in the past. You can ask about anything. Like uh, you can ask, for example, um, what what is your favorite TV show? Okay, whatever, anything. Any any question you want to ask, okay? So that's going to be your partner's penalty. You So you have five seconds. If in five seconds you cannot find the word, the, the verb in the simple past, you have to answer a question from your partner. Is that clear for everybody? You understand how to do this? Yes, teacher. And you have the list there, okay? So, um, uh, you, okay, great. Thank you, Isabel. Um, you have the list in front of you, so it's not, no es un examen, right? No es, no es um, examen de, con, uh, eh, de libro cerrado. No, it's, you can, you can have the list there and look for it, okay? But the thing is that you just have to do it in less than five seconds. So, okay, is that clear for everybody? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm going to be um, um, making the groups right now. Um, let's see. Okay, in this moment I have 16 participants, so I'm going to make eight groups. I might come to your group. I may not. So I'm, you know, you just if I come to your group, just ignore me in the sense that, you know, just pretend that I'm not there unless you have any questions then I can answer. But um, uh, but, you know, don't 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 be nervous. You know, if I'm there, just just continue on. OK. All right. So I am going to um, open the groups and you're going to have five minutes to work on this. OK and it's opening now. So go ahead and join your groups. Are you having any problem? Okay. 
Hi, Isabel. Hi, teacher. I am alone. <laughs> I noticed that you are alone. I yes. guess I guess um, something happened to your partner. Well, if um, your part mm -hmm. if somebody comes in, I will send you to work with. I will send them to work with you. So don't okay. worry. Okay. Okay. Um, That's great. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, okay, but in the meantime, let me work with you then, okay? Since you have no partner, okay. I'll work with you, okay? Okay. All right, so um, let's start. Do you have the, the, do you have the list open? Yes. Okay, all right, great. So let's, do you want to start so I can... You, you can tell me any verb you want and I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Uh, the verb do. Do is did. Okay. Okay. The past of a run. Run from. Sorry, how do you spell it? R. A N. Good, excellent. And you pronounce it ran. Ran. Okay. Hi, Michelle. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. No worries at all. Um, what, you can do, what you can do right now, Michelle, uh, you can continue with Isabel. Okay, so okay. we are. Um, we're doing the ping pong. We're going back and forth, asking uh, the the questions about the the simple past. Any questions that you have, Michelle? No, no question. Thanks. Okay, so go ahead. Continue working with Isabel, and uh, and then I I will go and work with a, another group. Okay. Okay. All right. So go okay. ahead, girls. Have fun. Thanks. Okay. So the verb is forget. Can you repeat the word? Ah, pero mm -hmm. es lo que yo recuerdo, pero es, pero cómo se llama? Bueno, bueno, well, uh, a la teacher le puedo. Le podemos preguntar por si las dudas, pero algo así recuerdo. Yes. You have a question for me? Uh, I'm not sure. Listen in past is listened? Yes. Very or, good. I, yeah. or I mistake. No, yes, correct. Yes. Listen is the past of listen is listened. But just oh, be right. careful mm -hmm. because listened, listen is not in the list because listen is a regular verb. Ah, yeah, That's why it's yeah. not in the list. These were only working with irregular verbs. But yes, you're absolutely right. The past of uh, listen is listened. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Um, and then, um, okay, the bird is right. Right, right. Yes, yes, it's correct. Okay, sleep. Slept. Okay. Um, yeah, let me see. Eat. Eat, eat. Yes. <laughs> All right. Speak. Uh, what? Speak. Get. No. New. Live. Left. Lend. 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 Okay. Lent. Yeah, correct. Lent. Uh, the second. Let teacher. Let let. Correct. Yes. Let, let, let is the same. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Lost. Lost. Make. Made. Meet. Met. Pay. Paid. Put. Put. Read. Read. Right, right, read or not write. Yeah, right. um, it, with the, that's a very good question. Uh, with, re, with that verb, read, um, if you notice the spelling is exactly the same. So the, the past of read is spelled R-E-A-D. The difference is actually this, not, not the, um, it's not the, um, the the spelling but the pronunciation in the past we pronounce it red like the color okay does that make sense yes red and red correct okay ring wrong room wrong be, just be careful. It's um, in the present. It's run, uh, run, not rune, but run. Ra, uh, uh, uh. And in the past is ran. So uh, 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 run, and the other one is ran. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, run. Okay. Run. Okay, repeat. Run. Run. Uh -huh, run. Uh -huh. Say. Say. See. So. Feel. So. Send. Send. Set. Set. Show. Okay. Um, I no break now. No 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 no. Um, read. Read. Yes. Real. Uh, roll. Yes. Yes. There you go. Okay. Um. Say. What? Say. S A. Uh, and why? And why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say, say it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop you for a moment there. Um, yes, yes, your the answer is correct, but it's just that the pronunciation. You gotta be careful with that. Um, the pronunciation of the passive say, I like to I like to explain it to students this way. Think of it like in Spanish. Yo tengo hambre mm -hmm. y. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué va con el hambre? Sed. Exactly. Just like that. That's how you pronounce it. Think uh, of it like sed. Like the 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 tenerse de, de tomar algo. Ah. ah yes, said yes. Okay, so if you remember <laughs> like that, you will be able to pronounce it better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you, Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Yes, said said yes said. Yes, okay. correct. No me recordaba de eso. Yes, said it's correct. <laughs> okay.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, I hope everybody had the opportunity of uh, being able to practice the simple past, the irregular verbs, right? Anybody have questions? Okay, so, all right. Just um, a little bit reminder, some some verbs that some people, uh, well, cause some things that came up that I would like to just make sure that you understand. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just gonna drink some water cause my throat is getting dry. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so as I was saying, um, some verbs that were uh, some people were not sure about is, for example, the passive read. Okay, so remember the passive read, if you notice in the list, is exactly the same, right? So it's you spell it the same, R E A D so is the same, but the difference is the spelling, sorry, the, the pronunciation, excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, so the difference is basically the pronunciation of the word. The first one is just pronounced read, and the second one is pronounced red, like the color, the color red, right? Okay, so it's read, red. Okay, read, red. And the past of say, S A Y, okay. Um, it, it looks like it's it looks like you would say said but you don't say you don't pronounce it said instead you pronounce it like if you think of it like in Spanish okay tengo hambre y sed right sed okay so think of it like that if you think of the, of the pronunciation sed de tomar agua well de tomar algo that's the pronunciation of the passive say. So say said. Say said. Okay? So that will help you to pronounce it. And there are other words, um, there are some other verbs that may ha you may have problems with pronouncing. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. With the verb be? With the verb be, did you ask? Uh -huh. B-I-G. The past is... Oh, beg. B-E-G. 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 B. B. But uh, spell, it, spell it in the chat. Oh, okay. Dig. Yes. Dig. The passive dig is dug. Oh, dug. Like, like, like a dog. No. That's dog. Oh, oh. This is da. Da, ah, ah, ah. Dug. Okay. Any other questions that you want me to help you with? You Please can share. Sure. Uh -huh. Yes. Go ahead. Excuse me. Uh, uh, I want to remind take is take it or take. No. The passive take is took. took. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any others? I have a question. The pronunciation of the pass of hang, hang. The pass hung. is hung. How? Yeah. Hang, hung. 
hair hold hang hold hang 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 Any other questions for pronunciations? With the verb hit is the same, hit, hit. Yeah, if you notice there are some verbs in the irregular, irregular verbs that will be the same. So like hit, hit, let, let, put, put. Cut, cut. Okay, so there are the some some that are the same. Basically, well, irregular verbs have no no rules, right? That's why they're irregular. But even though they don't have rules, we can put them into three categories. Okay, the first category is the verbs that only change one letter. Okay, for example, the like like the one that you asked about a moment ago, which is um, hang. Hang, you just change it to hung. You just change one letter from the A to the U. Okay, so it's that simple. Okay, and there are other ones, for example, changing or sometimes we eliminate. For example, meet, the passive meet is met. Right? So we eliminate one letter. Okay? So, so, so basically the first category is changing one letter or eliminating one letter. Okay? Then there is, um, then there is the other category where it stays exactly the same. Like uh, hit, hit, cut, cut, put, put. Right? Um, exactly the same. And then there is a category that is completely different. It, it changes everything. Like B. The passive B is was or were. Right? Um, or the past of do, um, of do is did. So it's very different. Right? Or the past of um, take is took. So it changes. Right? It changes like very differently. Um, so then you have those kind of verbs, okay? So basically you can divide it into three categories. Again, repeat, I'll repeat. There is the first category, the one that changes only one letter or eliminates one letter, you know, so just one, one letter changes. Then there was another one that stays exactly the same, so no change at all, okay? And then finally, there is the one that changes completely, okay? So there's a big change to it. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Okay. The, the three categories is only the verbs irregulars. Yeah, this is only for irregular verbs because uh, last... Mm, yeah, last class, I showed you the rules for regular verbs, right? Remember? I showed you the, the, the rules that where you just add e -S, sorry, ED or just the D or the IED or you double the consonant and then put ED. That is for regular verbs, okay? And the three categories that I'm telling you about right now are for irregular verbs okay does that make sense for everybody oh, it's clear. It's clear? okay all right great um so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to now share with you um the PowerPoint presentation 
and I want you to tell me uh, when you can see the PowerPoint presentation, okay? So just give me a moment and tell me when you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I can see that. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. So, so this is English pre intermediate two. We're going to continue talking about simple past. You know, your facilitator is uh, Jessica Guerrero. And, um, and uh, today is. Monday, February 1st, 2021. Imagine we have already finished the first month of the year. Imagine it's going by already so quickly. Okay, and we are now in February. Okay, so let's start talking about, actually I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger um, so you can see it better. Um, Tell me if you can see it better. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me, let me just see if I can try this again. Ah, there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so, um, so this is our, again, we're, yes, last class I taught you a little bit about um, the rules of simple present. Sorry, the, the simple past, but with regular verbs. And today we're going to go a little bit further. We're not just going to talk about affirmatives. We're also going to be talking about negatives and positives. Okay, so let's talk about the simple past. This is with most verbs. Okay, with most verbs, we're going to be using the subject plus the verb ed. This is with, um, or you can use the irregular form what we talked about at the beginning of the class, okay? Now, with that's with affirmative, but with negative, we're going to be using the subject plus did not, or the contraction of did not is didn't, and then the verb is going to be in the basic form, okay? It's going to be in the basic form. Is that clear for everybody? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> now, with interrogative or questions, okay? Let's say if you don't understand what I mean by interrogative, it means questions. We use did plus the subject plus the verb, and the verb has to be in the base form or the basic form. Example, well, sorry, before anything, let me explain to you why this is going to be in the basic form, why these two are going to be in the basic form. The reason is because the auxiliary did or didn't is already in the past. Okay? It's already in the past. So because it's already in the past, then we're not going to put a double past. If we put, for example, let's say the verb go. Who can tell me what is the past of go? When. When. when when very good okay so we could not say she did not went it's not possible why because did is already in the past 
And in English, we never have a double of something. We don't have like a double negative, for example. That would not be possible, okay? Um, now, in the case of uh, interrogative, the same thing. We're not going to say, did she went? Why? Because did is already in the simple past. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. 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 Okay, so example. She tried a pupusa. That's a, an affirmative. Okay, she tried a pupusa. Let's say that she is a, 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 a tourist and she comes to El Salvador, and we can say she tried a pupusa. Okay, so notice that try is a regular verb, it finishes in y. So that's why I put the, instead of the Y, I changed the Y to an I, and then put ED. Okay, do you remember that? Do you remember that, that rule? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, that's affirmative. In the negative, we would say, she did not or contracted she didn't try a pupusa notice try is going to be in the base form okay we don't say she didn't tried a pupusa you're going to say tried. she didn't try, try a pupusa or she did not try a pupusa is that is that clear that one's negative right there that one's the negative Okay, and finally, we have the interrogative or the question. We're going to say, did, just like that, and then we have the subject she, did she try a pupusa? Again, try is not going to be in the, in the simple past. It's going to be in the base form. Did she try a pupusa? Not, did she tried a pupusa? So far, so good. Is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. 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 Yes. What what mean try? Try a pupusa. Try is to um probar. Probar o tratar. No. Probar. Intentar. Yes, it can have different meanings. In this in this context, because we're talking about food, you try a food you you try food or um, lo, lo, uno prueba la comida. Thank you. Did when you, when okay. you're talking about like like something new, uno prueba algo nuevo, right? The comida. If you this do you say trying. Uh, no, 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 it's not going to be in the ING form, only this, okay? So only in the simple past, if it's, if it's affirmative, right? Try it in, in the, and in the other ones, it's going to be in the base form because did, which is the auxiliary, is in the base form, okay? Okay. So this is going to be with all the verbs, like, or basically most of the verbs, like 99.9% per, of the verbs, we're going to be using this structure, okay? 99% of the verbs. Or better said, 99.9. Okay. Any questions about this before we continue? No question, teacher. It's okay, teacher. It's okay. No question. Okay, good. Okay, now the answer of did she try a pupusa is going to be, this is the question, right? And the answer is either going to be yes, she did, or no, she didn't. 
and all we are doing is answering with the auxiliary did or didn't those are short answers now be careful do not say yes try she did try for example we can say yes she did try or no she didn't try no we can't say that we if we are going to say try we have to do the complete sentence so it's going to say did she tr did she try pupusa yes she tried a pupusa or no she didn't try a pupusa okay so it has to be complete form but we we cannot put yes yeah, she she did try so in a, but so that it's completely clear this is impossible okay that's impossible we cannot say she did try okay is that clear for everybody yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next part. Uh, now, I said that this is with 99.9% .9 of the verbs. Now, what is the other 0.1% of the verb? The other 0.1% of the verb is the verb to be. So this is with a simple past with the verb to be. Okay. So in the simple past with the verb to be, we use um, we use uh, be with, this is all the positive, we're either going to use was or were, okay, depending on the subject. This is all depending on the subject, okay. So for example, with I, we use was. With you we use were with he she and it we're going to use was and with we were and they were okay so i was cold you were tired he was in the garden he was late it was rainy we were on holiday we were hungry etc etc okay now so no remember so with i he, she, and it, we use was. And with you, they, and we, we use were. You were, we were, they were. Okay? Now, the negative is going to be I was not, or better said was not, were not, was not, were, uh, was not, was not, was were not, were not. Or the contract form which is wasn't or weren't it's also possible okay so wasn't or weren't um, so you can say I wasn't sleepy you weren't on the bus he wasn't at school he wasn't ugly it wasn't hot we weren't at work they weren't tired so that's possible to say too now um, that's the contraction form here okay so you can use either one of these is that clear for everybody yeah 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 okay good now in questions how does it work with questions well with questions with the verb to be we are not, and let me repeat that, not going to be using did. It's impossible to use did with the simple, the simple pass of be. Instead, what the verb to be is special because it, it is a verb and an auxiliary at the same time. So because it's a verb and an auxiliary at the same time, we're going to start with was or were okay was he tired uh were were you tired okay so you could if if it's if it's so we can say was he tired or you can say were we tired okay 
Okay, so was or were, it doesn't really matter. Each, any one of those is okay. All right, okay. Um, okay, I'm returning to the other one so that we don't get confused. I'm gonna put was, oh. Was he tired? Was he tired? And then the answer is going to be short, yes, he was. Or negative, no, he wasn't. Okay. Uh, by the way, in the negative, we always make contraction. We say, no, he wasn't. We don't say, nor he was not. It's, it doesn't sound correct. So normally we just contract, no, he wasn't. Okay. Um, and here, this is uh, with question words like when or what it's going. We're just going to put it at the beginning, so it doesn't matter. Like when were you born? How? Um, where were you born? Okay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can. You're always going to use the same structure. We're at the beginning, then the subject, and then the complement, and we use you use the the question word at the beginning. An example, I was born in blah, 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 okay? Any questions at this moment? Teacher, uh, yes. co contraction is uh, used only a uh, short answer? Um, no. No, you can use contraction with, with full answers too, like here, right? In this one you have, um, I wasn't sleepy, and that's contraction, and that's okay to use it. The only difference there is that uh, with, um, with, with those kind of uh, que short questions, you, you you are most likely going to be using contraction in the negative okay mm -hmm. does that make sense okay thank you you're welcome okay all right and so this is a review so now that we've seen that let's do a review of what we okay so we review. I mean, it's spelling mistake there. Okay, so review. So the verb to be, we use the, in the verb to be, we're going to be using um, subject. Just give me a moment. Give me one second. Okay, so, um, so we're going to be using subject plus was or were, example, they were friends, okay, um, in the negative, we're going to be using subject plus was not or were not, or the contraction, right, wasn't or weren't, so they weren't friends, okay, and the questions was or were plus the subject and the complement. They weren't friends. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. This there's this mis sorry, sorry. There's a mistake here. And this one be weren't they friends? With putting the weren't at the beginning. Okay, weren't they friends? Or were they friends? Okay. And then we have the sub the other verbs. Any other verbs would be with the subject plus the verb in ed if it's um, if it's um, a regular verb if it's irregular it's going to be different and then we have subject plus did not or didn't plus the verb in the base form um, so um, so you would say she didn't 
work yesterday. Or you can say she did not work yesterday. That's possible too. And then finally we have did plus the subject plus the verb in the base form. Example, did, the subject is she, the verb is work. Notice you say did she work, not did she works. Yes. And then the complement yesterday. So did she work yesterday? Is that okay for everybody? Do you have any questions that you want to ask before we continue? Teacher, teacher, is correct um, in, in, in interrogative um, they were in friends? Friends? No, no. I, I told you that there is a there is a mistake there. I'll just I'll actually write it down so that you don't get confused. Okay. Um, sorry about that. There was a mistake. Um, it's wrong. Yeah, this one's wrong. Hold on. Give me a moment. Uh, I'm going to fix it so that you guys can see it and. And that way you don't get confused. Okay, um, so I'm going to put it right here. It would it would have to say uh, were were they friends? It's too big. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so the correct form would be were they friends? And then over here we would put a question mark, right? Because it's a, it's a question. Okay, so that would be the correct form to do it. All right. Does that help? Does that help? Is it clear now? Yeah. Clear. Yes. Okay. Okay. There you go. So that 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 will that should be a little clear for everybody. So were they friends? That would be the correct. All right, guys. Any questions you want to ask before we continue? Before we finish off? Teacher. Yes. Could you could you please send the presentation today and Friday? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll try to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try to do that. No problem. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Anything else you want to ask before we can we finish off and I stop presenting? Um, and uh, and um, in the verbs, in the negative, um, the work don't add s works right it works yeah exactly that's correct um so it's in the verb in the base form and the reason is because did isn't already in the past so you're not going to put anything else you're just going to put the the base form okay so no changes no s because this is the past not the present okay Any other questions that you have? No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna ask you to do right now, I'm gonna say not right now, but for homework. What I'm gonna ask you to do is I want you to create um, five questions with did, right, starting with did and any other verb, 
and then five questions with was or were that you can ask your classmates. Okay, so ten, so ten questions in total. Five starting with did and five starting with was or were that you can ask your classmates. Okay, any questions about that? No question. No, it's okay. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, good. And what you're going to do is you're going to also uh, be creating a short paragraph with um, seven sentences about you. Okay, you're the sentences are about you in the past. So you're going to talk about things about you, your life, right? So you can say, I was born in Santa Tecla. I wasn't born in Panama, for example, or Panama. Um, I, I, um, I don't know. I went to school um, at Liceo Salvoreño. I didn't go to school at, um, I don't know, this, uh, except now San Jose, to give an example. I don't know, just any, any, anything that you want to talk about. Um, like I said, about seven sentences about yourself. Okay, in the past. Is that clear? It's yeah. clear. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. So that was going to be all for today, guys. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay. So take care. Bye bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. Good night for everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.